I'm really happy to be here and I'm happy to report that Green Councils in Brighton Home are working hard on delivering green policies. And you will be able to come and see that because this autumn conference will be in Brighton from the 13th to the 16th of September and you're all very welcome. When you come down, you'll see that we are installing citywide 20 mile an hour limits for a healthier and safer city. You'll see that we're installing cycling and walking infrastructure that improves the major routes and the difficult junctions in the city. That we're building new affordable housing and that we've ended second home discounts on council tax. You'll see that we have passed the city plan for the next 20 years, which means that we've embedded green thinking in every planning application for decades to come. Our council is working to annual carbon budgets and is on course to be the world's first one planet city. We're going to continue to lead the most open and participative and inclusive council that we possibly can. And working with our neighbours, our leadership has won us a city deal for the Greater Brighton area, which means that we've won new devolved powers and investment in our city. But this is all in the face of a coalition government led by the Conservatives who are hostile to our values. We reject government austerity, which is harming our local communities. Let's take welfare reforms as an example. So much time and energy is being wasted on cuts just to appease daily mail journalists who think that's where the waste in public sector spending is. Well, we know that's not the truth. The shameful truth is we have the outrage of the government cutting support for the poorest in our communities. And meanwhile, they're spending billions on new submarines, aircraft carriers and nuclear weapons that we do not need. The benefit cap, for example, is utterly cynical and a populist hit on large, poor families, many of whom are in low-paid work. And we exist in a situation where Liam Byrne has confirmed that Labour too would have a benefit cap, and Labour too would be cutting welfare, and they too will be cutting local government budgets until 2020. So we have all three of the bigger parties backing rich over the poor. That is unacceptable. Despite the occasion of that, Despite the occasional glimmer, Labour are just remixing Conservative policies in the same toxic vat that Blair, Clegg and Cameron have already tried. I think it's a travesty that this country lurches from one government to another just because they're not quite as bad as those in power, until of course they are. We cannot let them get away with it. We need to speak out. We need to ask, what kind of society do you want to live in? Do you want the Tory vision, where we let people go hungry and cold, where child poverty is getting worse, where families are turned out of their homes? A Tory vision where wealth is transferred from the poorest to the richest? Or our progressive vision, a vision where nobody is left behind? where those with the greatest need receive the most help, and where inequality is challenged. <laughs> this conference, we remember that 40 years ago, our friends here started Europe's first Green Party, with a very clear vision for the future. It's a party that believes, and actually does, localism. Indeed, we are the only party serious about real localism, and we need to shout about it. With the, we've got this vision that's coherent, that means that welfare will be for all, that we'll have sustainable local government, we'll have a reversal of NHS privatisation so that communities like Lewisham don't see a scandal of their hospitals being closed. We believe in true local taxation, which would give local communities the powers to protect their local services from mad austerity measures. 
We need to speak out, to give hope, to give the hope of a genuine alternative. Now, I personally am incredibly passionate about local government. I think municipal pride and creativity are green values that we need to rekindle in town halls across the country. I think councils need to be more self-confident, more bold, and demand local freedoms. But we need to remember that we exist in a context beyond our immediate control. As long as government can rewrite the rulebook at whim, it's always going to be difficult. Now, being the administration of a council, like ours in Brighton Hove, I think it's a bit like captaincy of a ship. We cannot control the waters ahead, whether they're stormy or calm. But we must complete the journey, safely transporting all, rocked by storms or baked by the sun. We will not founder. We will be guided by our green principles. We will pull together as a party. We will continue forward. We will deliver progress for our residents in Brighton and Hove. And we are showing the real change a Green Lake Council can achieve. Thank you.